Hey Boo Buddies and welcome back to my channel for my December bullet journal setup. I am doing something a little bit different for the end of the year, but before I get to the December month, I am putting in my gift list and budget for the very small amount of shopping and whatnot that I will be doing this year. And it goes in before my December monthly setup because I am actually, it's still November and I'm ready to use it. I need to use it before, before we get to December because the plotting happens earlier than most people want to admit. Um, so even though I am trying to cut back on shopping and consumering and obtaining stuff and especially when it comes to giving that stuff to other people to deal with, um, there's still going to be some gift giving that goes on this year uh, and I'm going to be keeping to a budget and I am, so what I've done is I've made a little spreadsheet here with some columns that has a space for the, the person who I am looking for, the item that I have in mind, a place to, to get it, the price that it costs so that I can make sure that it is um, within my budget. And then the last two columns are the, if it's ordered online or ordered, yeah, ordered from, from a place, then I have the date that I ordered it and then the date that I received it. And the first column, the over side column that is left blank, is for the tick box so that I can see if I have gotten this item or not gotten this item and it's still just in the planning mode uh, or not. And so it's really simple and that's why I only did a, a small bit of the page because there's, I'm not going to be doing that many gifts this year. I don't really do that many gifts most of the time, but this year um, I'm being very conscious of the gifts that I give. And so I kept the, the idea of this, this setup within the idea of just a basic, simple gift giving style. So I'm using my stamps for, for a nice, crisp text font and some black and white washi tape. To, to give some flair, uh, but I'm keeping to a beige, brown, and white and black color scheme throughout because uh, I really like the idea of brown paper and uh, for, for gift wrapping because it's very uh, neutral for it's not one specific holiday and it's, it's just very crisp and happy and I don't know anyone who, who will look at brown paper wrapped up and be like, yeah, that's not festive enough. No, it's very festive, and I think it's a nice, clean, traditional look. So moving into the actual December, December, my monthly uh, setup, I'm using some craft paper that has been torn up and it's just left over from other spreads that I've done throughout the year. Uh, and it's a mix of the, the book craft paper and some brown craft paper and some other just papers that I've had in my supply that isn't getting used for much else. Uh, and I am doing a cover page that is a bit more intense than most cover pages I do for a month. I usually don't go this far out uh, unless it's the quarter cover page, but it's the end of the year. There's a lot going on, even though there's less going on than usual, there's still a lot going on. So I made this envelope out of some brown craft paper that I am taping in instead of gluing in. Some things double-sided tape is best and some things glue is better. And um, then I've got some, just some triangles of torn up brown paper, craft paper, brown paper bag, uh, and I made a little uh, tree. And so there's a lot of space being covered by the different craft papers going on 
but there's also still room for to write in my goals for the month and my uh, my goals are pretty basic for the last month but there's still some other in-depth things going on uh, for one I am not going to be I'm going to be doing a menu for the month of December and the menu I usually do like a smorgasbord style uh, menu for December where you uh, you cook everything ahead of time or everything's um, pre-done and then it can be served cold or room temperature and it's just a buffet for the month and it, you, you pull it out uh, and graze during the day and you put it away back in the refrigerator in the night and it just it can stay out so I've got a space for my menu I've got in my envelope um, I've got my list of everyone I'm sending Yule cards to and holiday good wishes and then finally I will add in my calendar and my calendar is very small this month because I don't need a big calendar this month there's not a whole lot of things going on we're not going anywhere uh, and uh, there's the important days are pretty obvious and the every other day is going to be spent uh, hanging out and being cozy inside and self-quarantining and social distancing and I've got a big stack of books and a nice nice um, menu that I'm planning with some fancy hot chocolate and a little bit of other holiday fun stuff uh, but that is pretty much what is be going on so if we don't I need it don't need as much space for the organization and the and the special dates uh, because it's going to be very relaxed, very cozy. Personally, that's what winter holiday time for me is most years, but this year especially so of just being able to, to be relaxed, be at home, uh, not go outside, not need to do anything, and just enjoy the, the time at home. Now moving into my actual weekly setup, um, I'm doing uh, the same layout I've been doing the last couple months with the grid pattern of separating in what I, the categories that I need for the week, which is a, a, a habit tracker with the nice little bubble ticks that you can fill in. And then I have a mini calendar with the days of the week and the dates set up at the top so you can keep track and then um, a space for my posting schedule, my projects, my shopping list for the week, and a little space for something extra, either notes or stickers or doodles, something uh, that is just for fun. And, um, but I found that I still need the, the pre-2020 um, guideline of every day having a little individual task list of, of what I'm doing that day instead of just having what I'm doing for that week. Um, that worked not so well in the long run and I still need to break it up. As far as decoration for the week one of December, I just stuck with the light gray uh, tone to uh, kind of break up so it doesn't just look like a bunch of white. I used this green fine liner to kind of be a little bit festive but it might have been a little too bright in the long run so I ended up going back later with one of my purple fine liners to kind of tone down the green and, and really sharpen up what's being written on the page. Um, I only needed six of the seven days for my to-do list that I just talked about because Sunday is my, my mimosa day where we hang out, we, we drink a little bit of mimosas, we have brunch at home, and I plan out the, the next week. Uh, so I don't need a day for that. And then um, I have this reindeer bronze washi tape that somehow got shipped to me with some Halloween washi tape. And so it worked out great. So that is my end of November into December setup for 2020. I hope you found it fun and inspiring in your own journaling and planning. And I hope that 2021 is a better year for overall productivity and general. Thank you for watching, Boo Buddies. Don't forget to like and subscribe.